everyone! So today is going to be the video that I think everybody's been waiting for all week long. It is how I am preparing my body for pregnancy third time round. So before we get into the details about what I'm doing to prepare my body for pregnancy, I wanted to go ahead and just clarify one more thing one more time and that is that this is probably going to be the only trying to conceive-ish vlog there's going to be at least for a while um, because I said in the last vlog and I know that a lot of you guys really want TTC vlogs to come back but I really don't think they're ever going to come back on this channel. I didn't have a very positive experience my first time around. <laughs> my experience was that it added a lot of stress like this sort of overanalyzation of ovulating and timing sex and all this stuff just ended up being not very nice and like conceiving Leia was like so much easier. Just being kind of like meh we'll just see how it goes and I'm not going to be taking ovulation tests. I haven't taken an ovulation test in ages. I can tell when I ovulate anyway so there's not really any point in that and my cycles have always been really regular so I don't really see the point in buying tests and making extra garbage. So now that that's out of the way let's talk about when it is exactly. We're talking that this whole journey is going to officially begin. I kind of feel like this is the official beginning of the journey since you know we are definitely feeling more at a place including me. As a matter of fact I would be willing to give it a go this summer if it wasn't for a few things. One is I have quite a few clients due in the fall right now and if I were to get pregnant in the next couple months that would run the risk of me being probably pretty groggy, tired, cranky, maybe even sick. Um, when I have to be on call and attending births. So I have decided to wait it out this summer for that reason, but also I have both of my kids right now and we're just trying to get life settled. The kids are in kindergarten and it's just, it wouldn't be the, the best time for me to be going through what I would consider the hardest part of the pregnancy. In my opinion, the first trimester has always been the hardest. I have never been like a puker and I would say that I've always had like a pretty easy first trimester compared to what I've heard other people go Going through but still like regardless of if it's hard or easy I feel like it's like the the hardest time of the whole pregnancy at least in my experience so that leads us to thinking that we'll probably start the the trying around the fall um, right now my cycles kind of run towards the end of the month so maybe end of August I do plan to keep on working throughout my pregnancy because I do want to get around a year's worth of experience as a doula because things are going really well right now I probably will stop working around a month before I have I have the third child. As much as I think it would be cool to have a spring baby, that's something I've always wanted, I feel like it would really just bring way too much chaos to our family life for me to be pregnant because people need me to be up and standing right now a little bit too much. Let's go ahead and get started with what I'm doing to prepare my body for pregnancy. All right, first up is a pretty obvious one. I think almost everybody does this, who at least who will go on a trying to conceive journey. I didn't with Leia because she was a bit of a surprise. So I'm taking a prenatal vitamin. This is the one I'm taking right now. It is Nature's Plus, the energy supplements, source of life prenatal. This one is vegan and it's actually gluten free as well. And I really like the ingredients list. It's like a food based prenatal vitamin. Yeah, I feel like this one's just kind of obvious, but it is recommended that you take a prenatal supplement one to three months before you even get pregnant just to make sure that your body is stored up especially on folic acid and I'm pretty sure I'm getting enough folic acid through my diet because I eat a really I think I eat a pretty balanced nutritious diet. I feel like you can never be too safe so I have started taking a prenatal vitamin and so far I've taken it for the past three weeks and honestly I'm not really that fussed about this one. I kind of liked the Garden of Life one better. This one actually has a much better taste but I feel like it's less effective. With the other vitamin my nails were growing really fast, my hair was getting really soft. I feel like my hair's been a little better since taking this vitamin but I haven't really noticed the difference in my nails. I just feel like overall Garden of Life was a little bit more effective. This is a two times a day vitamin so I'll probably just buy that one next time. Next up is I am drinking red raspberry leaf tea. This is something I've been doing actually for the past three months and I've also been doing it just to help lighten my periods and I feel like it has helped um, a little bit. I'm actually on my second day of my period right now and I am drinking it today. Here it is. This is what it looks like. It tastes a lot like black tea. Red raspberry leaves have been known as like the woman's herb. I drank this with both of my girls. The pushing phase 
Days was really short for both of them. For Olivia, she came out in like 25 minutes and Leia came out in like a push. So, um, so I don't know if it's because of that, but that's something that I did include in my last weeks of pregnancy. And then other things I'm doing is I'm really trying to bring my anxiety levels down. As you guys know, I had a pretty rough year or a rough couple of years of suffering from anxiety. I think I've always had this problem, but it's really hit home the past couple of years. I think motherhood tends to trigger anxiety disorders a little bit more because obviously you're worrying a lot more than you were before you had kids. Also, two years ago, I found a breast lump and that totally set me off edge and totally set me into a panic. That panic actually set me into a weird disorder that's kind of rare. It's called benign falsculation syndrome and I have sort of like a twitchy thing going on. I've had so many blood tests, so much thyroid ultrasounds, everything is coming out perfect. People say it's in my head. I've been on a huge spiritual journey, just doing a lot of meditation and yoga. Probably seeking help from a therapist would probably be a good route to go as well. So I'm just trying to bring my mind as much at peace as possible and really focus on my spiritual and mental well-being as soon as life sort of settles down. And that's another huge reason why I feel like giving it a couple months of preparing, just really taking care of myself and taking care of my family and taking care of my surroundings before jumping into the pregnancy would be a good idea. But we are officially feeling more ready to go on this journey. And I hope you guys are looking forward to following us on that. So yeah, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good weekend. Bye.